should you take ibuprofen after your concussion? Hi there, I am Dr. Mark Dysig. I'm a concussion specialist and an naturopathic physician. Today I'm coming at you from home because I want to talk about some home concussion questions, home concussion advice. Should you take ibuprofen after your concussion? The answer is really simple in terms of timeline. So acutely after a concussion, in that first 24 to 72 hours, you don't want to take any new medication. You don't want to take ibuprofen. You don't want to take anything new for any new symptoms that you're experiencing after your concussion. Why? That first 24 to 72 hours is when we're actually looking for red flags. We're actually making sure that your headaches aren't getting worse, that your consciousness and your memory are still relatively intact and they're not getting worse, that you're not recurrently vomiting, that your neck pain and your head movement isn't getting worse and getting more stiff and getting more painful. Um, all of these things, plus some other things uh, that uh, you can find in the reference to the blog with this, um, all of those things are, are indications for getting a head CT or getting some imaging. Um, when I say timeline, so acutely we don't want to take anything new, but what about after the fact? What about seven to ten days later, you're still having eye pain, you're still having headaches, you still don't feel great and you, you're dealing with some pain. The thing to know about non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, so NSAIDs like ibuprofen, is that these actually have in the prescribing recommendations to not take for more than 10 days. So if you have to take ibuprofen for more than 10 days, you need to find out why. Um, for regardless whether this is concussion related or not, you need to find out why. Um, there's cardiovascular and gastrointestinal risks from taking this. There's actually black box warnings on and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs for the cardiovascular risks. So you want to know why you are taking it if you need to take it for a prolonged period of time, um, especially after concussion. Because after concussion, headache is one of the most common concerns after concussion. Um, and it's not due to an ibuprofen deficiency. Typically, there's two really big types of headaches that we'll have after concussion. The most common is gonna be tension type, uh, which is cervicogenic, meaning it's tension type headache. You have kind of the frontal, temporal, you might get it behind your eye, behind your ear. Um, and it's typically because you cannot have a concussion without also sustain sustaining whiplash. Um, so if no one in your care team has addressed your neck um, and you're still having headaches, this would be a great place to start. Your head is only attached to your body via your neck. So if you whipped it around or you got hit hard enough to sustain a concussion, you also dealt with whiplash. The other type that's a little less frequently common but can also still be really present is migraine type headaches after a concussion. Um, and again, that's not due to an ibuprofen deficiency. It's not due to a tricyclic antidepressant uh, or any type of medication deficiency. Um, so you really wanna get with a concussion specialist who can do exercise testing, who can do visual vestibular testing, who can do cervical spine testing to see where your headaches are coming from so that you do not have to take ibuprofen for anything more than kind of as needed um, symptom relief and certainly not for more than 10 days at a time. So should you take ibuprofen after concussion? For sure, for sure you should not take it in those first one to three days after your concussion. And then after the fact, use it very sparingly because we also can't return you to play. Um, we can't confidently return you to sport or return you to clear you from concussion if we don't know that your symptoms are clear truly or if they're just being masked. Um, so if you found that helpful, go ahead and give this a thumbs up. If you'd like to learn more about concussion and post-concussion syndrome or persistent concussion symptoms, PCS, go ahead and give my channel a follow. Uh, I appreciate you watching.